Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to tell if your Garmin GPS needs a new battery. Uh, just uh, seeing the battery bar all the way to the right showing a full charged battery doesn't mean your battery is good uh, because uh, a defective battery could also show a full charge when the voltage immediately drops down to zero in less than a minute or two. Uh, or, or maybe less than 10-15 minutes it drops to zero. A normal battery should last an hour and a half to two hours uh, with the GPS screen brightness setting to uh, metal or 50%. Alright, so here's how we tell. Uh, first what I'm gonna do is I have I have a, a Garmin a GPS. Uh, hold on, let me adjust the focus on that. Okay, so I have a Garmin GPS here. It's a Garmin Nuvi 265W. I have taken uh, the back uh, out, taken it apart to show you the battery and how to tell if the battery is good or bad. So what you do is you unplug the external power and you see the battery icon. You see the battery icon shows all the way to the top. So this is a new battery, so it's, of course, it's a good battery, but this is how I can tell if it is 100% good. I put, you put your finger on the battery icon for more than 30 seconds. You keep it pressed for more than 30 seconds. I'm going to use a screwdriver so that you can see exactly where I'm pressing. Okay, so there you go. It was actually 15 seconds, not even 30. So now uh, the battery capacity, which shows 88%, that means ha that's how much, uh, that's how full the battery is. Basically, the battery is full to 87% right now. The backlight uh, is, is the brightness of the screen, which should be all the way to the top. So we could uh, do a stress test on the battery. So when you have the uh, brightness all the way high, uh, you put more stress on the battery and the voltage drops faster which shows the health of the battery basically you need to know how long does it take for it to drop 1% a, a good battery should uh, drop 1% in every 30 seconds and a defective battery will drop in every 2-3 seconds <laughs> okay so now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and see my battery current. This is the uh, current battery voltage, the present voltage at the battery uh, terminals. It's 3.8, uh, which is good because the battery, uh, 3.8 is good because the battery is a 3.7 volt battery. So 3.8 is actually good. So now I'm going to plug this in and this, the, the, the charging battery current is the charging current is zero and the charging current should increase when I plug this in. So watch that as I'm plugging it in. There you go. The battery is started to charge and the charging, uh, a good battery, healthy battery should accept charge intake of 500 milliampere or more. All these are milli values. For example, this is 4000 millivolts. This is 534 milliamps. So 4069 millivolts is 4 0.07 volts and 531 milliamperes is actually uh, equivalent to 0.5 ampere okay so this is a healthy battery is a good battery now watch as I change the battery with a different battery first when I unplug the battery I have no battery now and watch the current drops to zero because there is no nothing to charge it's completely and the battery capacity drops to nothing because there is no battery this is a bad battery I'm gonna put a defective battery watch what happens okay the batteries all the way in it's a Garmin original defective battery the charging current is still zero because that battery is bad it doesn't accept charge and the battery capacity doesn't even show and if I unplug it it will completely shut down the, the whole this uh, diagnostic screen will even shut down because there is absolutely zero juice and zero capacity on this battery 
Batteries are made out of chemical materials. In, in this case, it's made out of lithium ion, which, uh, which is a chemical that uh, goes bad as time goes by. Now, we are in 2019. This battery was manufactured in 2009. That's a 10-year-old battery. Their life expectancy is only five years. So that's a definitely defective battery. I'm going to unplug this, and I'm going to put a halfway used battery. It's not fully uh, uh, charged. Okay, so there is the battery. Now watch, the battery is healthy because it takes a charge. Uh, the uh, charging current is for, uh, uh, I mean, 534 milliamps or half an amp, and the voltage is 3.9 volts, and uh, basically, and the battery status is charging, shows that the battery is charging. So even though this is a bad battery, and if I unplug the power, it should say low battery, but uh, and it should go off immediately but at least it stays on for a few more seconds because this battery is not completely dead so watch as I unplug see so the battery dropped to 5% and it turned off now I'm gonna plug it back in when you plug it back in it goes through its normal cycle so basically you have to uh, do the you know the same thing put your finger on the <coughs> Let me plug this back and show you. You have to put your finger back on the battery icon for 30 seconds to get the diagnostic screen again because you, uh, when you unplug the battery and the battery is completely dead, the unit uh, shut down. So let, let, it, let it reboot. Okay, so there it is. Now watch. Now there is no battery icon because there is no battery. It is running off of the electricity, off of the uh, charger. So what do I do? I put my finger in the place where the battery is, even if the battery is not there. Watch. Just put it where the battery is. Just put, put, put the finger or any object there to press it for 15 seconds. There you go. Came back to the diagnostic screens. Now I'm going to plug in the good new battery. So that's the new battery. Again, charging started. The current is 521. And now I can, you know, without any fear, I can unplug it. It's not going to turn off because this is a good battery. It's stay on. Uh, it's at 89%. So basically, this is how you uh, do a battery diagnostic and to see if the battery is good or not. And then you can exit from the screen and it take you back to the normal routine to boot up the GPS to the normal screen. All right. I hope you found this video educational and uh, it, hopefully it will help you uh, diagnose and determine if you need a new battery for your Garmin GPS. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.